We're going to do the... We're going right out at 1040. Yeah, 1040. Madam Chair, I move, I recommend that Senate Bill 1040 be returned with due pass recommendation. Give me the annotated mark. Breaking a new vice chair, it's going to take a little time. I also move the two-page strike everything amendment, representative of my name. <laughs> <laughs> Dated March 8th, 2012 at 10.09 a.m. be adopted. Madam Chair, members, for the record, my name is Cassandra Wallace, leadership intern. The proposed strike everything amendment to Senate Bill 1040 modifies the process for a county to establish, alter, or abandon a public road by allowing a county engineer to recommend changes. Current statute states that a highway may be established or altered if taxpayers submit a petition to the Board of Supervisors suggesting the change. The bill would allow a county engineer to recommend changes to the board as well. I'm available for questions. Any questions? Okay. The sponsor of the bill is here. Would you like to testify on it? Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, for hearing this bill. And uh, thank you, uh, Representative Gallon, for the striker. Uh, this bill was originally brought to me by uh, our County Supervisors Association, and right now, in order to establish, alter, or abandon a, a local highway, they need 10 signatures of registered voters in the county. They don't have to have any connection to the roadway uh, at all. And so what they wanted the ability to do was have the county engineer recommendation to the Board of Supervisors uh, also uh, make that uh, decision. Uh, we had amendments on the floor that allowed the, uh, that required the Board of Supervisors to give written notice on any abandonment of a roadway and uh, also to have a majority of the property owners along that roadway uh, to agree to consent. Um, if you live on a county maintained road right now, financing for your home, uh, part of that package would be that the, the, proper, the, the home be on a county maintained road. So you could have financing right now, and in, in our area, most of our buyers are VA buyers because of Fort Huachuca. Uh, and part of that loan package is the ability to show that you have county maintained roads. So if they abandon the road and you're not able to get that statement that the roads are, are county maintained, you may not be able to get financing for any potential uh, future buyer. So it, you know, it would adversely affect the property value. So I can't imagine the county's not wanting written notification in the process of abandoning your roadway <coughs> and having the consent of the majority of the property owners uh, as well. So this is a property rights issue, and it's a common sense way to go. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Do we have any questions for the sponsor? Thank you. OK. Thank you. We have wishing to speak Todd Modeska against the bill. Madam, Madam Vice Chair, members of the committee, I'm Todd Medex. I'm with the County Supervisors Association, and as hard as it might be to believe, we uh, we actually, the County Supervisors Association is opposed to this bill. Um, we, we agree with everything in the bill save for one provision. We don't feel like a majority of uh, property owners along uh, a roadway should be able to hold the taxpayers of the county hostage when the county decides that it needs to abandon a roadway. Um, quite frankly, we think this is a solution looking for a problem. Counties rarely abandon roadways. When we do, 95% of the time, it's because the roadways have been annexed by a municipality, and so the, the uh, question of maintenance is not really raised. Um, that being said, we don't think that if, if a county during an economic crisis is forced to abandon a roadway should have to seek <coughs> approval of, uh, minor, of uh, property owners who abut the roadway uh, at the expense of everyone else in the county. Um, we are opposed to the bill with that provision. We've, we've talked to the sponsor about an amendment to strike out the provision. We've talked to her uh, at length. We've had stakeholder meetings. We can't identify a problem that this is solving, and we would respectfully ask for a no vote on this bill. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. 
Any questions? Hey, thank you very much. And lawman, if necessary, neutral. And everybody against the bill, not wishing to speak. Heather Bernacki, Yuma County. Richard Bohan, Maricopa County. Board of Supervisors, Jen Sweeney, Arizona Associated Counties. Mary Aaron, Apache County and Greenlee County. And Laura Magnus, Apache County and Greenlee County. Okay. You've heard the motion. All those in favor of the Gowan strike everything amendment, vote aye. Those aye. opposed, vote no. Aye. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. <laughs> those uh, those for it, vote aye. 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 Those opposed, vote no. No. The ayes appear to have it, do have it, and so ordered. Mr. Vice Chairman, please move the bill as amended. Commission. Madam Chair, I move that Senate Bill 1040 as amended be determined to do pass recommendation. Any discussion? Hey, Secretary, will you please call the roll? Mr. Dial? Uh, pass. Mr. Farley? Ms. Chair, may I explain my vote? Yes. Oh, Madam Chair, may I explain my vote? <laughs> Uh, um, thank you. Uh, until we stop raiding the HERF funds and taking away resources from counties to take care of the transportation system that they should have available, then we, sh we should not put more burdens on them to take care of roads that they should not have to take care of. So I vote no. Mr. Gallego? Uh, I vote no. Mr. Hale? No. Mr. Harper? Aye. Mr. Smith? Ms. Stevens? Aye. Ms. Uh, Mr. Gowan? Aye. Mr. Dial? Aye. Ms. Proud? Aye. Okay, we have five ayes, three nays, zero present, one absent. We have passed. Senate Bill 1040. Mr. Chairman, will you please read the next bill on the... Thank you.